Osibanja charges lawyers to call out corrupt senior advocates of Nigeria. Welcome to the news and thank you for tuning in to listen. The vice president also advocated that any corrupt son should be taken before the appropriate disciplinary body. Wow. Wow. Doing campaign like the things you hear and they'll be like, so these people could come out and say this. These people could actually think of this. They could have this at the back or front of their mind or any part of their mind. And they're not going to say it all because the election is not coming close. There is no need to campaign. Some people now, all of a sudden, they now remember these things. Like, wow. This means they know what is good for Nigeria and they're definitely not doing it. They know. For some, there are some statements which you hear and which you see during this campaigning time that you're going to say, no, this is how Nigeria is going to work. But what it only tells the electorates like us is that at the end of the day, these people know what is good for Nigeria. But in turn, they just, they just feel, no, these people, we won't do it for them. Let's enslave them and continue to keep them in this kind of a state. Hmm. The news in detail, let's find out more about this. Vice President Yemi Osiba and your says the time has come to call out senior lawyers whose action demands the rank of senior advocates of Nigeria, son. Osiba and made a call at the body of senior advocates of Nigeria, BOSAN, 2021 annual dinner scholarship award on Saturday in Lagos. Speaking of the special guest of honor at the event, the Vice President said it was a boarding in Busan, and the Nigerian Bar Association, MBA, to ensure that their members remain disciplined and conduct themselves appropriately. There is a growing perception that some of our colleagues have developed unhealthy relationships which are meant to influence cases before our court. And it's now becoming the case that even younger members of our profession do much the same thing. I think it is time to commit the calling out those actions those whose action demeans, demean the ranks of son and ensure that they are brought before the appropriate disciplinary body. We must not allow a situation where the rank is demeaned because members of a public believe some of those in the ranks are those who actually corrupt the judicial system, the vice president added. Mr. Osiba just said the system of justice was a public resource which does, which does not belong to the legal profession Neither does it belong to the bar, nor the bench, but the people. It belongs to the people. We lawyers and judges are paid operators of a service that our constitution created to solve or resolve their disputes and give justice. We are constituents, not owners. When this public resort is not working effectively on account of delays or it is being discredited by corruption, we the operators have a moral, legal and civic obligations to fix it. Other speakers included former head of state Abdul Salami Abubakar, Chief Justice of Nigeria Ibrahim Tanko, represented by Justice Kudurat Kikireku, and Nigeria's first female son Folake Sholanke, among others. Can you imagine? So these people actually know the right thing to do. They know they do. They just don't want to do it. Too late. Time to go home. If Osibanjo has started this fight since 2015, this alone would have changed Nigeria, correct the corruption in the judiciary, break up the country, and Nigeria's problem will be solved. Nigeria has aspired. 1992, 1999 constitution has aspired. Tribalism has killed the country. Religion has killed the country. Nepotism has killed the country. Fulani has killed the country. Votes do not count. Electoral bill killed. NASA is not making any progress to fix the country. They only make notes to perpetrate themselves in power. CBN has finally destroyed the economy. APC has built a point of killing and selling Nigeria to repeat death. Northerners who themselves are jihadists are now crying because of insecurity. They have amended the electoral bill to perpetrate themselves in office and the masses cannot do anything about it. Candidates can no longer be opposed by voters. They have taken power from voters. Only hope of preserving this country is to break up. As long as the useless 1999 constitution exists, 
Southerners will continue to be slaves in their land. Forget about who becomes president in 2023, it is still going to be the same thing. The police, military, guns and bullets and bombs cannot keep this country together again. The people must be involved in making the new constitution. Any other approach will forcefully disintegrate the country. First of all, I acknowledge that Nigeria had expired since 2014 and good enough to break up. Then, break up the country into the north, southwest, middle belt, southeast and south south. Each zone can call itself whatever it prefers. We negotiate the existence of Nigeria where all zones would agree to stay together based on whatever conditions they want. Make the new Nigeria the United States of Nigeria, no longer Federal Republic of Nigeria. State would then determine how the thing federal government should look like. Destroy the 1999 constitution and get a new constitution to reflect the new country, signed by each and every zone and state. Each state becomes autonomous, judicial autonomy, parliamentary system of government. Only one senator representing each state. Every state controls its resources. Every state controls its police and security. Every state controls its voting system. Every state announcing the results of its election are no longer controlled by Abuja and the court. Power is decentralized. Abolish the DSS. Raise national guards to protect our borders, especially train short service military men and women who have other professionals they can return to. Give military a new assignment to be actively involved in UN peacekeeping missions. No more military roaming streets and terrorizing civilians. Decouple and overhaul customs and immigra immigration. Decentralize electricity wherever state produces and regulates its electricity with percentage input from national grid. Resource control will re regulate petroleum products from upstream to downstream sectors. Federal government will only function as a moderator to oversee and coordinate activities. And coordinate activities within and outside the new and renegotiated neg negotiated Nigeria. In this way, the federal government will not depend heavily on the revenue with re revenue from petroleum uh, from south. The federal government will look for other productive ways of financing itself. This will grow the economy. This will make every state focus on building themselves and their citizens. States can then choose to collaborate as they wish to grow the individual economy. In summary, each state control the security, electricity, elections, resources. Wow. The thing is, The thing is, this person just nailed it. All I have ever been saying, our constitution is no longer, it's not useful. Each geopolitical zone, like I will always say, needs to be represented. And I made points of politicians that are not going to be filled everywhere. In short, politicians that will be there is just the, pres the governor of some zones. They'll be there. So, 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 governor for this zone. Then the people will not have a say in the new constitution. If we don't have that dialogue, huh, whatever we are doing is total gibberish. On this note, we've come to the end of the news. We say thank you for tuning in to listen. Until I come here next time, enjoy the rest of your day.